Representative Steve Scalise is out. He will not run for Speaker of the House. And moments ago, he just pointed his finger directly at his own party. Uh, there are still some people that have their own agendas. And I was very clear, we have to have everybody put their agendas on the side and focus on what this country needs. This country is counting on us to come back together. This House of Representatives needs a speaker and we need to open up the House again. But clearly, not everybody is there. So let me get this straight. We now have no Republican speaker candidate. Tomorrow, it will be 10 days since the last one was fired and the chaos in the House of Representatives continues. Yep, sounds about right. So in case your head is spinning, let me just recap for you. Steve Scalise was just elected by a majority of House Republicans yesterday to be their choice for speaker. It became clearer and clearer as the day went on yesterday and all throughout the day today that things were getting worse and worse for him. Instead of gaining support amongst Republicans, he kept losing it. So now what? Well, the House is paralyzed. No business can get done. We have a government shutdown scheduled in about a month from now. No bills can get passed and we will soon have a critical aid package for Israel that needs to be approved. So what are the Republicans going to do? Well, there's no official plan tonight. The conference will have to get together again and vote for someone in their party to be the next speaker. And then whoever that person is will have to go in front of the whole house for a vote. Representative Jim Jordan is still on the list. Believe it or not, so is former speaker Kevin McCarthy and other Republicans may jump in too. We'll just have to wait and see what tomorrow holds.